everybody, and thank you very much for your time today. And today I'm coming to you from Charlotte, North Carolina. Yes. All right, guys, as you see, we are at the Asian Corner Mall. Now, this is a return to Asian Corner. It has gotten a lot worse. It is way more unsafe and a lot more questions are at hand here. Now that new century that we're looking at was a former Woolco and also I believe the family dollar was part of the Woolco. Now, before we start to move forward, want to give a big shout out. Oh, actually, let's check out the uh, little phone booth there. I need that phone sign, by the way. I actually have a phone sign, but it's in really nice condition. I like to have graffiti on my phone signage. Anyway, big shout out. Raw and Real Retail. Definitely check out their channel. I haven't seen them post in a while. I hope they're doing okay. Another big shout out to Kristen at Unicom Productions. And another big shout out to the friendliest and happiest person in all of the world of dead malls, Doomy Grunt. Yes. All right, guys, as we take a look in here, we see that there was a stop work order on this property here for one of the stores and the uh, hallway into the mall is actually to the right side there. Now everything is boarded up at this mall. This used to have a, uh, a kind of like a, I believe a shoehorn or corridor style on the inside. So you would have all of these stores on the exterior, but there was a mall actually inside. Now the reason why I just shouted out those uh, three YouTube channels is that because they do have some great videos from three, four, five, six years ago uh, when they actually did visit this mall. So check out their videos. Again, Raw and Real Retail, Unicom Productions, and the amazingly friendly and happiest man in the world, Doomy Grunt. So guys, let's take a look as we walk past Lan Bakery. We're going to see some more of the caged areas, which I guess were probably part of the walkways heading into the mall, maybe exterior doors. And uh, the last visit here, a little bit more than a year ago, you can certainly look back on that video in my library. Also, Nail Mall, check it out. Definitely the place to get your nails done. This property did not have all of the wood panels up, and uh, so that's kind of concerning. I assume there's probably a lot of broken glass that happened. Maybe a lot of vandals came and started doing some bad things here. Now the inside of the mall is probably an absolute mess. And as we look towards downtown Charlotte and zoom back in here, uh, this parking lot, the last time I was here, was full of little tiny food trucks uh, and mainly actually detailers. So if you wanted to get your car washed or detailed, there were several detailers, basically about every uh, 20 to 30 yards, there was another guy or a few guys and they'd have all their detailing tools. So kind of cool to see that people are out there hustling, trying to make that dollar. So I really appreciate that. Now, another thing that I do want to let you know is that you should hurry up and buy. Definitely make sure you hurry up and buy because I feel sorry for your mother. Uh, so for those of you that know that uh, comment and that joke uh, from Don't Be a Menace, definitely shout out to you if you are into those comedy movies. The Wayans Brothers used to do some really good movies. Uh, I hope they're okay. I haven't seen anything from them in a long time, but I don't know if they're allowed to make funny movies anymore in this day and age. Now, as we start to head towards the end of this mall, we're going to come back and, and continue to take a look around. In fact, we're going to look in one of the windows uh, in a moment. I believe this brown building was a Peebles. I find it really hard to believe that it was a Peebles, but somebody made that comment in my last video. Now, this building makes me think uh, service merchandise or best. Now, I don't think service merchandise or best made their way, and there's some homeless folks uh, living there in that little corner. I don't think best or service merchandise made their way down to uh, Charlotte, but the best 
I will call out as a really great retailer, Catalog Retail. See how it's like the B-E-S-T. Uh, the best logo used to be tiered like that kind of steps. The B was the smallest, E was a little bigger, S was a little bigger, and then T was the biggest. And it looks like that label scar would give me the sign that it, it was a best. So this property here was all boarded up the last time we were here and you can see the chains all rusty i was not able to get a look up and over there i did not bring my selfie stick so i just had my uh, phone in my hand now as we walk a little bit forward here you'll see across the way there is some type of either little restaurant or bar and then the white building i think might have been a convenience store or something back in the day and you'll see here at the edge of the strip mall uh, um, there is a blue roof line. That blue roof line, I think, was Pet Boys at one time. So guys, correct me and let me know if it was Pet Boys. Also, another thing that I want to mention here is that if you do plan on coming to this mall, uh, please bring somebody with you that you can trust to watch your back. This is not the best area of Charlotte. This is a very, very high crime area. Uh, and in fact, when we were heading back towards uh, the car, uh, I think we were possibly uh, getting scoped by somebody to maybe be jacked in the parking lot. There was just a really bad vibe going on. Um, I rarely have anybody that messes with me. I'm a bigger guy. Uh, and it, not that that changes anything. Hey, if somebody's got a knife or unfortunately a pew pew, uh, they really don't care how big you are or how small you are. Uh, so do please come with somebody if you plan on coming to this place. Also, I do not suggest visiting this property at night or at dusk uh, we were here this was earlier in the day right around noon the parking lot is an absolute minefield uh, please watch where you are driving even on the end with the uh, new century the former Woolco and uh, family dollar it is a it's the, the potholes are crazy you are definitely going to lose a tire now as you look in here I assume this was one of the electrical rooms uh, for the mall it looked like there was a step down there so maybe there was a second floor and uh, you see a lot of water there so not really a good thing as we have water in an electrical panel room and uh, we'll start to walk back here and uh, also w when we were here last year there was a lot more garbage that was behind the fencing uh, near the mall, you know, the uh, near the wooden panels. So um, that was also kind of good to see, but I think that there's probably been so much vandalism at this place that they needed to finally board it up. And um, definitely, again, make sure you hurry up and buy. Uh, so, NC Nails. Also, there was a really good sandwich shop uh, that was uh, called out by a lot of folks in reviews for this mall. So it's kind of cool that, you know, at least there were a lot of folks that really enjoyed this place. This was a great international market and it was the biggest international market in Charlotte. There's a gentleman that was walking past there. He actually waved high, so it was nice to see that there was somebody friendly walking around. And uh, so as we start to move forward here, close to the beginning of the mall, one, I want to thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. I wanted to bring you this update during uh, my time in Charlotte a few weeks ago. Uh, definitely stay tuned. I've got some great videos around the 4th of July holiday for you. So please subscribe, click all of your notifications, and uh, definitely share the video if anybody else uh, is from Charlotte or you grew up here. If you have any stories to tell, put them in the comments. And guys, I will catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.